Hey YouTube, it's Mark here, just going to bring a short update video um, just on the ministry at the moment, um, upcoming activities, uh, Lord willing, and just some general things as well, but also a, a prayer request uh, as well. So, um, a few months ago, um, I'd hoped that I was going to be able to go to the Philippines um, a couple of times later in the year. I managed to do that recently. That was just before the repentance video was posted. Um, and I've been praying and hoping that I can go in December. Now, there are some things that are a little bit uh, against me on that at the moment. And uh, I'm seeking the Lord's will if that's what he wants me to do. Because uh, the the airfare has doubled in price. Um, and there are some things going on in, in my life um, that are causing great turmoil. Um certainly in the next week or two um, and certainly in the next couple of months so I am quite worried that I'm not going to be able to make it to the Philippines in December. Um, I'm frankly quite worried about my living arrangements <laughs> let alone getting to the um, the Philippines so um, I would greatly appreciate your prayer on this just to um, petition the Lord to make it clear what his will is um, because uh, I believe it is to go to the Philippines in December. There's certainly a specific reason um, uh, that I ought to be there. But whether it's his will is another question. Um, so, yeah, I would really appreciate prayer on that, basically. Uh, just a, a personal update as well. Uh, my dad is very, very sick at the moment. Um, I am not convinced he's going to survive this. Um, this problem that he has and um, so I would appreciate your prayer for him the danger with his situation is that he is not saved um, so you can probably understand the the turmoil and grief that that's creating for me because uh, you know the, there are some things going on that that are not really you know not really good basically um, so I'm I'm hoping that um, even just one more chance that um, God peradventure will give him repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Uh, so I'm praying for that. I'm praying for the Lord to uh, tarry a little while longer for him. But, uh, you know, I've got to be honest, It's uh, he's been dodging the bullets now for, for way too long. And uh, I think his time's up, frankly. So I don't say that lightly as well. I'm, I'm quite uh, bothered about it, obviously. So I would appreciate prayers for my father his name is Ken and uh, you know to espouse what the world says he is a good man um, but he hates the Lord Jesus Christ he hates his word uh, he hates it pretty much everything about Christianity and uh, we frequently locked horns and um, you know it's not not been a pleasant experience to be honest with you so uh, I'm still hoping that um, before he dies uh, that he will uh, get saved basically so um please hold him up in prayer um my personal health is causing me some problems um i don't know if uh, if you're new to the channel you may or may not know but i'm asthmatic um i often have to take a deep breath to get uh, oxygen into my body it's uh it's something that i've lived with for a very long time um but it's not it's not fun and it causes me a great deal of uh physical uh, stress and anxiety and uh, that's something else that's been true as well the last um, certainly the last few weeks uh, just been very kind of anxious uh, and stressful about a few things and um, you know it's been uh, it's not been an easy ride and then obviously stress um, can cause a whole number of other um, you know symptoms other sort of problems that affect you so haven't been sleeping well um you know things like that have been eating well um and there's a lot of things that have been bothering me so things are kind of um getting a bit a bit sort of heavy lately and um you know so I, I would certainly appreciate your prayer on these things um just to uh lighten that load a little bit really so in other news, I do have um, what I believe to be a really good study uh, to be released. I I don't know if it'll be today, it'll probably be early next week, but it's a, a really, uh, again, a wonderful, wonderful word in the Bible. Um, it's an odd study. So when you see the title, 
uh, you're probably going to think, wow, you know, this is a bit um, a bit extreme. It'll be an odd sounding title and it'll be an odd study. But at the conclusion of that study, there'll be um, a great word that I will exposit and um, share with you. And it once again firmly underpins the King James Bible as the very word of the living God. And not just a, you know, a, a good translation or any of this rubbish. Um, and it's it's just the same case as I've done with my other video studies. You know, it's the same thing. It's just, um, you know, what's in a word? Everything is in a word. And uh, so, Lord willing, I'll, I'll get that done shortly. And there are a number of other things going on as well. Um, I'm going to be meeting some Christians, some King James Bible believing Christians here in the UK. Um, I'm up in the north of England, not this weekend, but next. And Lord willing, on the way back, um, I'm going to be meeting with um, some Christians that I've made contact with. So I'm really grateful about that because it's easy to feel alone, especially as a Christian. It's very easy to feel alone. So it's good for us to sharpen one another. It's good for us to fellowship and, and talk of things on the Lord and uh, show each other that we, we aren't alone as Christians. It may feel like that sometimes, but we aren't. And it goes back to, you know, how I started this video. You know, there's a lot going on. Um, it's easy to despair, actually. It's easy to kind of fall into the trap. I think um, Paul mentioned that um, when traveling in Asia, he despaired even of life itself. And, you know, it, that can happen and it does happen. But um in Galatians 6, you know, it talks about us sharing one another's burden. So I just ask if, if I may, of you, um, of you guys watching, that you would just um, offer up um, in your own personal prayers just certain elements of my uh, personal situation, um, which, I, which I hope to have resolved. So the next couple of months are looking pretty interesting and, and, and not really in a good way, if I'm honest. But, um, you know, as the Lord wills, I mean, if, if this particular route is the way that it's going to go then so be it it's okay you know it's not a problem and um it's taken me a long time to learn to be like that because i think in the early days as a as a young christian you expect blessing blessing after blessing after blessing good things good things and more good things and that does happen and it's true but it's during the difficult periods it's during the struggles you know the temptations the the hardship the persecution the pain or whatever it is it's during those moments um that you either draw closer to the lord or you walk further away and it's it's tough it's not easy you know nobody said that it was going to be easy actually nobody said that and if your walk with the lord is easy then i, I think it just raises some questions so um, it's not very easy for me at the moment. It's not looking like it's going to be very easy, but I do trust in the Lord. And uh, I'm certainly praying about my various situations quite a bit, <laughs> a lot actually, um, and hoping that um, he will make his will known to me uh, in the next, certainly in the next week. The next week or so is, is critical, to be honest with you. Um and the next couple of months equally as critical. Um, so one of the things that I really want to do, as I said at the beginning of the video, I really do want to get back to the Philippines as soon as possible. Late December has been um, posited as a as a, a good set of dates, but um, you know you have to ask the question sometimes: Is it my will, or is it the Lord's will? I believe it's the Lord's will, but I'm hoping this week that that will be made crystal clear for me um so again please do pray for me pray for this small ministry this um epaphroditus ministry the bringing of liberality to other saints that don't have what we have um and that's all this ministry is it's nothing else it's nothing more um i'm hoping to preach again but uh you know again is that my desire? Is that my will? Is that what, what I want to do? What I desire to do? You know, or is it what the Lord wants me to do? So it's tough. It's tough. And I'm hanging in there with you guys because I know that it's not easy for all of you either. So um, my prayers go out. We have a, a weekly Bible study. And during that, we pray for other brothers and sisters out there. And we did. We did on uh, Wednesday night. 
and uh, there's a lot of people to pray for, a lot of things to pray for, you know, and this leads on to the other part, you know, if you are struggling in your prayer life, um, that's a bit of a red flag as well, it's not that you're not saved or anything, it's just that there is so much to pray for, there's so much to ask for help with, there's so much to give thanks for, um, you know, uh, you shouldn't really struggle in that, you know, that should be something that happens um, freely. So anyway, as always, I talk for far too long. Um, uh, I really appreciate you watching this. Please do hold me up in prayer. Your prayers are coveted and they are of a great comfort and help to me. Thank you very much for watching. God bless. Godspeed.